thank you very much. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ για αυτούς που δεν γνωρίζουν να έχουν γεννηθεί. Έχουν γεννηθεί στην Ελλάδα, στην Θεσσαλονίκη μάλιστα, γεννήθηκε στην Καμάρα και έστεισε στην περιοχή του Αλατίνου. Το θέμα αυτό είναι πολύ αγαπητό σε μένα. Αν μου είστε κύριος μου. Είναι πολύ αγαπητό σε μένα, διότι αισθάνομαι ιδιαίτερη χαρά που θα μιλήσω για την ιδιαίτερη μου πατρίδα. Το Θεσσαλονίκη είναι η πατρίδα μου. Είναι πολύ αγαπητό σε μένα, διότι αισθάνομαι ιδιαίτερη χαρά που θα μιλήσω για την ιδιαίτερη μου πατρίδα. Λοιπόν, I'm going to do that in a very relaxed manner. And I'm going to speak, I'm not going to read any speeches. I'm just going to say to you what I think about the Thessaloniki and the Thessaloniki and the Thessaloniki and the Thessaloniki and the Thessaloniki. I'm just going to say to you what I have on the slides, so all of you see the slides and understand what's going on. I try, in some cases I will uh, go fast, and some others will slow, depending on the subject. Okay? Um, you see which, uh, Louder. Thank you. 
uh, something is saying that it is uh, tricky as you see that here in French or in English, so many of us are making tricky. The, uh,
this is a, a, a photo of uh, this gumbo, a little gumbo that I left from Litopolo and got it to Saldiki Bay and torpedo this uh, ship, the Petitbulen, a great conqueror or conquest or great, it's, it is also the cause of conquest. In Ottoman Turkey, it's not modern Turkish, because Bulen is not a modern Turkish word. Uh, this was a, uh, a big ship, and uh, it, it went in there, this is uh, a lieutenant of the Navy, which in the, the army would be equal, equivalent to captain. Got a gunboat and torpedo this, and that, that boosted the morale of the army on the other side. Uh, next. The 24th, 25th of October, after the, the 24th of October, the um, army passed the Axios River, Varta, and uh, that forced Hilmi Pasha, sorry, uh, Taxi Pasha, who spoke excellent Greek, by the way, because he had finished, he was a, a graduate of the Zosimea School of Eoanina. They, uh, they negotiated the Constantine, uh, this is Crown Prince Constantine, negotiated the uh, <coughs> capture of the, the uh, Sarnet of Saudi with the uh, Taksim Pasha. And uh, after a day and a half, the 26th of December, the day of the city's celebration of St. Demetrius, the Saudi was surrendered to The next morning, very early in the morning, the seventh division that came to the top of Katerini, up west of the Saudi and entered the city. And uh, next, the 28th of October, it was Sunday, just like today, the newspaper of Macedonia wrote an excellent article, which you will see in English and in Greek. I can't say that in English. <coughs> this is the text I translated. And for those who are interested, the Macedonian Association has requested from uh, the newspaper Macedonia to Saudi to reprint that newspaper again. And as of yesterday, you can buy it for one euro. And uh, I know the Macedonian Association is going to by a few, I don't know how many, but if you are interested, uh, you should contact uh, the, the appropriate people, see if you can get a copy if you want. 718 <laughs> It says, with warm tears, tears of joy that floods the chest of the slave, who recovers his freedom, tears of gratitude for his liberator that fulfills his existence, we are welcoming the Greek army which entered the magnificent city of the Thessalonians. This brilliant trophy of the heroic and victorious Greek army demolishes the cornerstone of the Turkish state from the Greek Macedonia, of the state which, as the kingdoms of ancient monsters, were established on layers of bones, of the state which has been synonymous to barbarism and horribleness, of the state which, holding in one hand the torch of arson, and in the other, the dagger of, of the murderer, burn a slaughter our life and our honor, our faith and our ethnicity and anything holy and sacred 
that we have. And now, the polarized homeland of Aristotle and Alexander the Great, whose every hill and every valley, every corner and every span are soaked in innocent Greek blood and former and recent lamentations of the martyrs of the faith and fatherland throws itself free into the warm and loving arms of Mother Greece. Thus, the great epic of 1821 continues. That was the part of the article, the other was on the second page and I didn't have it, so I think that gives an idea how they felt, how the people of, of the Saudi felt when the Greek army was entering. The, uh, next please. This is Macedonia free now from the, from the Ottomans. However, the wars were not over. Next. One day out of the blue, the king of Bulgaria, Ferdinand, ordered his uh, chief of staff, Salvo, to order an attack against the Serbs and the, uh, the Greeks. And uh, the Bulgarians started getting into the Salonian, and have in mind that, uh, I forgot to tell you, when the Republic got into the Salonian, the Bulgarians wanted to have their troops arrested in the city, so they requested the whole division.